Welcome to this introduction to the new version of Normal software. The primary addition is that Normal now supports the inclusion of props. Until now, your Normal scene comprised the set, where the scene is taking place, and the actors or characters. This latest version introduces a new third category of 3D objects that you can use in your scene. Choose from the selection of objects and then, just as you would with a character, drag and drop them into the scene. Once added to the scene, just like the characters, you can position the props, rotate them or delete them. We've also added a couple of new controls that you can see here, Scale and Selectable. Scale allows you to scale the object to make it larger or smaller. The second control, Selectable, helps when you have more than one prop in a scene, in this case a desk and a chair. When you try to move the chair, the desk moves instead but make the desk unselectable and try the same things again and now we can move the chair. We've also added these same controls to the actors so now you can scale your actors to be larger or smaller. One thing to note is this little coloured line under the scale slider. This is a visual guide to the range of size that will work okay if the character walks. Beyond the green and into the red, the character will still walk, but you will see that they are noticeably sliding on the ground. But if the character is not walking, feel free to explore the red zones. Previously, you may have experienced problems positioning a character if there are two close together. This again is where the selectable control is useful. You can make one character unselectable and easily move the other. It's also really useful if you want to have a character sitting on one of the prop chairs or the new wheelchair. So let's sit our character down and then position them on the wheelchair. The fine adjustments become tricky because you may move the wheelchair unintentionally but make the wheelchair unselectable and then you can more easily position the character. As you may have noticed, we've made the controls for the props very similar to the controls for the characters. This extends to giving the props the ability to speak. This can be useful if, for example, you want to add voiceover but without a visible character talking, or if you want to have a voice on a phone, tablet, computer or TV. One thing to be aware of if you expect a character to be talking but their lips aren't moving, check here that the dialogue has the correct character performing it and not a prop. If it is a prop, you can simply change it here to the character you want. These additional controls have made the settings a little busier, so we've added the ability to hide them if you're not using them. You don't have to use the props if you don't want to, but we encourage you to explore them. Also, check out the videos showing some examples of the creative possibilities offered by this new addition to Normal. 